Hello everybody, here I come again with a new add-on to help you to create uh, masks or remove background from footage. Let's install it by going Edit, Preferences, Install, and here it is. Enable it. Okay. Let's pick up the Blender console. It it helps a lot to see what's happening on the line. And to view this add-on, you need to go to the VSE. You can go on New in Video Editing, or you can create another tab video editing, video editing. You press N and you see the N panel. Here is the sub folder. Okay, to use it you have to install a v virtual environment. So first thing you do is press install VM and it's going to install some packages in Blender in my case it's already installed it. then you create the VM you can choose uh, another path to you I'm choosing this DAI yeah, OK I can create I have to create an uh, environment in this case it's modern modnet environment it's gonna create here it already created let me show just created and now we can install modnet on VMV. When I press this button it's gonna show another window and let me press it, it's going to show another window and install the required dependencies. It can take a while because it installs large Python packages, you should have almost 5 gigabytes used on the VM folder after it finishes. Now you can see that it was it finish it the installation because you can see you can close this window and now you can close this window in the add-on you can collapse this option you don't have to use it anymore and you can select a video to add Let me grab a video here, for example, this video of mine. Having a video inserted here, you will have the option to process the foreground or the mat, which is a, a mask. If you don't select a video, if you don't have a video, let me erase it, you won't have the option enabled here. So just Select a video, add in the, the strip, and it will show the option. So let's click to execute the video. Doing this, you will be able to see here in the Blender console what it's doing. It's usually fast to process the data, and the data that is being processed it's going to be saved on the same file that the original video comes from. After processing the video, you will be able to load the video. In this case, is the foreground. Let's load it. You can see it loaded on top of the current video. And if you hide, just press H you can see the difference. Out age to unhide 
and you can take a look and see the difference between the video. If I hide it, you see that the, the background is removed. Now let's do a, another test. Let's create a mask Mate video. We press Mate, execute, and we can see In this case, I can't see because I don't have the Blender console open. But it won't take much. And finish it. Now you have the option to load the Mate. And you have the Mate option here. Let me open the console again. And let's try with another video. Let me get this one. One important thing to notice is that it's important to have a contrast between the foreground object that you want to remove or keep or create the mask and the background. You can see here it's a good example of it. If I create, let's create a matte of this execute video. Let's see how it is processing. And let's load it. See how good it is? It's not perfect. You can see there are some parts that it's passing through, but I think it can help a lot on um, rotoscoping or masking or something like that. Let's just do the foreground too. And let's see how it's going. And remove the Mate, let's select the original one and load the foreground. Now you can see how well it is removing the background. That's basically it for this first version of SAB ModNet. Hope you enjoy it. If you can support us, please go to our Patreon or add a, a value that you can used to to buy this you can grab it for free but if you can give something it would help a lot thank you we'll see you next time